Hey, Dave, uh, Dennis Feidner, CFO on the go. Hey, thanks for sending that spreadsheet over. So I didn't recreate the entire estimate, but I created a portion of it just so you can uh, see how it would work. But uh, you, you look at this, it kind of looks like and feels like Excel. So I just took your descriptions in here, but then I broke them into two uh, components. So uh, first one is for materials, and the second one's for labor, material, labor, same thing all the way through here, okay? Uh, I took your quantity of six times your unit cost, you know, came up with six here, 2100 bucks. Uh, I do my overhead and profit a little different. Uh, I can explain that to you in a little more detail if you want, but I always price uh, my uh, labor at about two and a half to three times what I price uh, my materials because I typically don't have risk on my materials and I have risk on my labor. So I want to have, I, that's the way I do it. And I'll show you why in a second as well. So I did that all the way through here. I also identified who I was going to buy those from. I put your notes in from your uh, sheet sheet, sheet schedule uh, in here, so you have that note right there in front of you. And then uh, so just pick colors here, so I can show you how that would wind up on a purchase order. So uh, I went through all that, and so that's as simple as it can be. I just you just create those line items. Uh, I could save this. I don't want to do that actually, real quick. Um, I'm going to save this as uh, Dave's bid. Okay. And, and I obviously, before I saved it, I would have zeroed out these quantities uh, right here and the number of hours. These would all be zeros, but all this would just stay in there. Uh, and then I could just start a new bid from scratch uh, without having to rekey all the stuff in. I would just bring that template back in. I do want to show you, you know, you said you didn't do assemblies. Assemblies are really, really easy to do. And this is uh, something you probably do every day. So this is an assembly. It happens to be number 91. It's for a commercial dishwasher, Okay. Uh, I did my takeoff. I have to do three of them. These components here are what it takes to do each one. So for each dishwasher, I need four hours of labor, one actual dishwasher, eight foot of copper pipe, four elbows, four of these, uh, 10 wire nuts, then whatever that is, the plastic box, and six more wire nuts here. Actually, this is foot of wire. Um, anyway, so there you go. You have that. I come in here and put my three. And now it tells me I need 12 hours. I need three dishwashers. These are my prices. It now extends out exactly what I need. I put my markup on it. Uh, and there I go. There's my bid price. So very simple. But now I know I need to buy this. I need to have this. And I need to have this. And so I know what you're doing up here. But you can maybe do a little bit, uh, break out all of the other pieces that you need. I, I know what you're doing here. You got to. You just know that all that stuff costs $250. Uh, but you could break it into these pieces so that you can watch your inventory a little bit better. So what I wanted to show you is if I go back here to recaps, um, and I look at this by, uh, what did I look at it? It's by um, Costco, I think. Yeah, um, you'll notice here that on this item, this item, and this item, uh, I've got about 11 to 14% margin, but on this water heater, uh, I've got a whole lot less, and that's because I probably had uh, not as many hours on there, and it was just material. So, anyway, you'll come up with answers like that. You can see things like that. So, here's my assemblies. I can see how many hours I have, uh, what my margin is on the assemblies. Uh, I can look at a, a recap of how many vendors have quoted me and what their prices are. If I look at, um, hang on a second, um, this is one I like. So, here's my material, my labor, subcontract cost, my cost, my overhead markup, the percent, the subtotal, and then my gross amount, okay? So that all is recapping. Hard to do that in the, in Excel. And so once I have all that, uh, the reason we're doing it in here is not to make you do any extra work, but is to actually come in here and say, hey, I want to print purchase orders, and I want to print all the purchase orders for this job. And I'll say, yes. I don't want to do any subs because I don't have any. And so there's Indian Plumbing who I want to buy that those materials from. And today I'm going to be Frank. And Frank's the guy ordering that. So I hit export. I'm done. I'm going to minimize. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. I want to do that. And now if I go over to here and I hit purchase orders, obviously the last one is going to be my Indian Plumbing. And there's all of the items I want to buy from him the prices that he quoted me, and the colors that I want to buy. So now once I've done this, a couple things happen. One, I'm going to be able to, so I'm going to save this real quick. Oops. 
save this, and then um, I have the ability to print this, send him a piece of paper, or I could email it to him. And so there it is. And if I want to do it with the notes, that's this one. And there's the notes. There's, you know, I need a three sink and there's a stainless. And this item needs to be white. This item needs to be white. Uh, and so I have my notes, a place for him to sign it and send it back. But once I'm done there, um, I now have my commitments. And remember, I looked at that committed cost report the other day. The other nice part here is once I'm done with this um, estimate, the other thing I can do is say export this budget. And I'm going to say yes. Let's complete. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to come in here to my, uh, I don't think I have that on the screen. I'll have to come over here real quick. I go to my budget, to my last job. You know, Miller, there's my budget to do laboratory sinks. There's my budget to do water heaters. There's my budget to do toilets. There's my budget to do this. This is the hours I budgeted, the material I budgeted, and labor I budgeted. So now when I'm finished with this job, and I think I'll lump some things in the sinks probably, but uh, if at the end of this job I estimated 225 hours and it took me 300 hours, I'm going to know that. And it's not going to take a lot more work from your guys in the field to do that. So anyway, uh, that's the estimate. I'm going to do another video on the other things, but I thought I'd get this to you today. Uh, I probably will get the other one done first thing Monday morning. Uh, i got a couple of meetings left for the rest of the day. So, hey, thanks for your time, and hopefully this makes a little bit of sense to you.